those who have excess think differently. Quit listening to voices that tell you you have to be qualified to have an abundant life. You don't need another program or another business to walk in abundance. You need to change the way you think. I know it will be like a huge battle to think differently, knowing that all your life and even your parents could not meet your everyday needs. Where you were thrown out of a class and when you look at your fellow students in class, but you never had even the textbooks to read, but always had to borrow everything in life. I know it might be so hard to change how you think, but it is so possible. The truth is that you have to change how you think from a decisive mindset. You must first know and resist poverty. Many try to romance poverty as if it's the will of God to make many stay poor. Poverty stays because what many heard indirectly from their childbirth. Our parents impose this mindset when we ask them for things we desire. We get back words like, I don't have money. When I work hard, I will get it. So when we were brought up in a lack mentality, that is how the world systems run, but God says that we shall delight in abundance. You can have much more and so much that surpasses your needs that you never have to worry about your needs again. God is saying to you, Then shalt thou lay up gold as dust, and the gold of Ophir as the stones of the brooks. You will see gold as the worth of dust. You will have an access of it that will look like dust to you. It can never be exhausted that whenever there is a call to give it, you don't have to think about to give, because you know it will return in multiple folds. That is the will of God for you. God specializes in taking the poor from the dunghills and making them princes. You have to begin to talk about it. Many of us believe that God has a good plan for our lives, to take care of us and bless us. But God wants you to be settled in abundance. If you want to walk in abundance and excess, you have to change your common prayers into uncommon prayers and dare to ask God for big things. You need a big vision and dream that's bigger than what you've ever seen in the natural before. If you only pray small prayers, you're going to see small results. If you only ask God to supply your needs, it will only limit what God will do to you. God says to us in James 4 verse 3 that you have not because you ask not. Maybe the reason everything seems tight is that, is that you never had the boldness to ask God. One reason why many never get to experience abundance is that we only ask for small things. You must see the invisible and do the impossible. Life is more than having just what you use to hold your stomach for a little while. Life is about stretching out in the purpose of destiny. It is to be a blessing to nations. God's will for us is that we shall lend to nations. You cannot do that with just one house and one car as your target. The nations should be your vision. The global stage should be your dream. If you're not asking for something that you cannot accomplish on your own, then you're not asking big enough. Something that you've never had the resources for, something that has happened in your family before, didn't limit God, didn't limit your relationship with the Almighty. You'll get to the point where money will be like figures to you. Talking about a vision, that'll keep you up in the night when others are in their bed. All God needs to change your story is for you to come to an agreement. Dare to ask God for big things. Sometimes, we think it's selfish to ask for big things. The enemy will try to deceive you with questions like, why will you pray to own an international company or a stadium? Don't be deceived. Our God is all-powerful. A God that fed millions of people. God took care of millions that it was written that there was no feeble and every one of them grows up with their shoes and clothes. Imagine that God. He says the earth is his footstool and he stretches the heaven as a curtain. God is not offended when you ask for big things. He does not say, who do you think you are? 
when there are a lot of people that need my help. That bold prayer gets his attention. That is your faith being released for the abundance. The very reason why people are not having it is that they're not asking. When you ask, that is when God will open doors and rain down blessings that you cannot contain. Like Peter, when he met Jesus, he went home with a boat breaking and sinking load of fish. God wants you to have access so you can be a bigger blessing to others around you. God wants you to pay for those orphanages, feeding and resources. He wants you to be able to be an employer of job opportunities. The normal prayer of many is, God pay my bill. But a bill and an audacious prayer is, bless me that I don't pay my bill but I can pay the bills of others. Just trying to get is a sick prayer. That prayer needs medication. Turn it around and now begin to step out. A divinely guaranteed vision will not bear fruit when you do not begin to step out with strategies by the wisdom of God. God says, He girds us with strength, He makes our way perfect, and He sets us upon our high places. There is a lifting power in God. You will be divinely helped if only you can wholeheartedly trust Him for this lifting. He was the one who lifted Joseph, who was a slave, became by the lifting power of God the very second in command and ruler of the whole Egypt. Egypt was the world power, but a Hebrew slave boy who sure did not have well-knitted clothes was the one seating in the place of providence. Psalm says that until his word came, the word of the Lord tried him. The Lord made Lord over his substances and to bind his princes at pleasure and to teach his senators. This will be your story. God is a great giver. His supply over exceeds our want. You are complete in Christ, meaning you lack nothing. Don't let your heart trouble you. The abundance is coming on its way. Fresh supply a mighty one for every need. You can be the one looking for someone to even get your transport movement paid, and in the next day, sending funds to nations. The same God used two lepers to bring wealth to Samaria during the time of Elisha by the prophetic word that a barrel of oil be sold for a shekel. For example, a barrel of oil will be sold for one dollar. Nothing is impossible. It doesn't matter where you are stage you are now. God will lift you from one level of glory to another, from predicament to promotion, from lack to access. You have this mindset for the access begins. It starts from the mind. God will bring you to your large place where you'll be the outstretched arm of help to generations. You can believe this. It is the truth. It is your reality. This will be your testimony from now on. You will have access.